Hello world! This is a brief screencast to show you what's new with eFactory since the last blog post a few months ago. Um, if we open up this some families um, now extension eSyn file here, um, you'll notice, uh, contrary to the previous demo, that there is a tree view here now that shows us the structure of this model. So we've got a city that contains a family Flintstones, that contains a person Fred, and that contains a person a Vilma in the same list, and a dinosaur, the exam, same example from the last time. What's changed is that we have this tree view here and a property sheet that goes with it. So I can do a number of things here. First of all, clicking through this um, allows me to see the properties of the currently selected node. Um, and we can make changes. Let's say this city, if this model had a zip code for cities, as an example, if we change this here to be 1234 and entered it, watch what happens here in this space. The um, DSL source of this model gets updated and we have city zip 1234 in here. We can do Control shift f to format that for it to look nicely. Um, we can do this on any embedded um, data as well. So let's say if we were on the um, person's name here, for example, we can call Fred Freddy, watch his name up here, change into Freddy. Um, this works so from the property sheet up into the source. It works the other way around too. If Wilma would be called Wilmy, and I save this, um, there's a small refresh problem down here, but if we go up here, she'll be Wilmy down here now and up here. Furthermore, the actual structure of this model can be changed easily as well. So if we go in here and we say we want to have a new child person, um, it shows up here as an empty person and we can call this um, another guy that shows up down here. Um, we can give him an age over here and create this DSL textual representation here. It looks a bit like Hutton um, but has a JSON-like syntax um, without actually typing anything in here. But if we want, we can still type. Um, do stuff in here, comment this out if we don't want this. Oops, that became red because I commented out this thing as well. Now it's fine again. Control Shift F, I can format it. Um, the same model, the EMFE object, can be modified programmatically just like this editor here, this tree editor, and this property sheet does by other code and will update the um, syntax tree of Xtext without wanting to go into technical details here. Um, Voila, this is the latest on eFactory. I uh, hope you find this useful. Read the blog post for some more technical changes since the last time. Uh, try it out and um, any feedback, welcome. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.